The year is 2543. The world as we know it today has changed dramatically. Cities have become towering metropolises with skyscrapers reaching as high as the clouds. The sight of green spaces is a rare occurrence, reserved only for the rich and powerful who can afford the luxury of nature. The majority of the population lives in cramped living quarters stacked on top of each other in towering apartment buildings. The air is thick with smog, oxygen has become a prized commodity and despite the incredible technological advancements, there is a sense of despair that hangs over the world. How did we arrive at this point of crisis? The movie narration abruptly stops and cuts back to the year 2023. Chances are you're familiar with the storyline, perhaps from a sci-fi movie or a pessimistic science fiction novel. The tale of a world brought to its knees by overpopulation is a familiar one told time and time again. While at the moment this might seem a little bit over the top and some might even brush it over with the classic, but who cares about the future, I will be long gone by then attitude. The reality is that the decisions we make today have a profound impact on the world tomorrow. If you like where this is going, don't forget to like and subscribe, as I post interesting content daily that you don't want to miss. Let's continue. But is overpopulation really as dire as we make it out to be? Is there a silver lining in this dark cloud? And even if we do reach this predicted level of human population growth, is it possible that we can adapt and find solutions to mitigate the negative effects? These are questions worth considering as they shed light on the fact that the issue of overpopulation is multifaceted and complex. In today's video, we'll be looking at these three things. So is overpopulation really as dire as we make it out to be? Yes, overpopulation is in fact as bad as we make it out to be. And yes, there is a slight possibility that I might just have predicted the future from my overly cliché description of it. But who knows, right? First, postulated in the 19th century, concerns about overpopulation have only grown in the decades since. With the global population reaching 7.9 billion in 2023 and projected to reach 9.7 billion by 2050, the strain on the planet's resources is only going to increase. Some might argue that this is already a problem as you might not see it just because you are from a wealthy country. And they might just be right. See, governments from all around the world are really struggling to provide for their citizens. Unemployment is an all-time high, congestion in cities and housing unaffordable, climate change, water scarcity, the loss of biodiversity and the destruction of natural habitats are some of the current occurrences. The effect of overpopulation are already being felt in many parts of the world. However, overpopulation is more than just our number. It's about the planet having enough resources to meet everyone's survival needs. Take this analogy for example. Consider a green lush valley with thousands of rabbits thriving in it. They are not overpopulated because there's plenty of food and their repopulation is healthy. In the next valley over there are also rabbits, but less than one tenth of as many and the few remaining are thin and starving. The vegetation in the valley has been destroyed and there's very little left for those rabbits to eat. Which of the two valleys is overpopulated? The one of many thousands of fat rabbits or the valley of just a remnant few starring barely surviving rabbits? You guessed it, while it may seem counterintuitive, it is the latter valley that is overpopulated, as the remaining rabbits are struggling to survive in an environment that can no longer sustain them. This underscores the importance of taking a holistic view of population dynamics, considering not only the number of individuals, but also their impact on the environment and the resources available to them. So, is it possible that overpopulation could have positive outcomes for the future though? While some may argue that the larger population could lead to increased innovation, economic growth and cultural diversity, the answer is simply a big no. While the short term effects might be beneficial, it is unsustainable in the long run. As the global population continues to rise every year out, we risk exacerbating existing social, economic and political inequalities, leading to greater instability and conflict. Rather than simply focusing on increasing the population, we need to take a more holistic and sustainable approach that considers the needs of both people and the planet. As concerns about overpopulation continue to grow, many are asking what can be done to prevent a potential apocalypse. The answer is multifaceted and requires a comprehensive approach that addresses both population dynamics and sustainable development. One key strategy is to promote access to family planning and reproductive healthcare, empowering individuals to make informed decisions about their own fertility. In addition, we must prioritize investments in renewable energy, sustainable agriculture, 
and conservation efforts to ensure that we can meet the needs of a growing population without depleting the planet's resources. Finally, we must work to address social and economic inequalities, promoting access to education, healthcare and economic opportunities for all. By taking these steps, we can create a more equitable and sustainable world, ensuring that our living standards remain high even as our population continues to grow. Imagine saying all this and maybe, just maybe overpopulation becomes a myth that future generations only hear about in books and YouTube videos like this one. What if our population suddenly sees a drastic decline in future, for whatever reason possible, what then? Maybe we are looking at this all wrong and not taking into account many other possibilities. Underpopulation might be the real problem, highly unlikely but still very much possible, but that's a story for another day. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.